it's Jack here for yet another video. If you haven't watched the last video on my 2023 New Year's results, I recommend just watching that one, at least watching the ending before you watch this one. I'm recording it about an hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes later. I just had to go back and just kind of review and add um, my New Year's goals for 2024. So since I'm 30 years old now, I have 30 new goals that I wanna accomplish for the end of the year. I do this every year. You can watch the past videos on my YouTube channel. Let's just get straight into it since I got a ton of things to talk about. So I have all the categories, the same categories as last year, but with a new one. I added a new one for presentation, which is basically how I look, dress, how people would see me. And the reason why I added that is because I think it's important to kind of have a category to focus on what people see about you. And I like to add a new category probably like every year just to kind of add some things and keep them things exciting. So first year, first category of course is health and physical. I have this every single year and every single year I fail this one. This time, I swear I'm gonna get this one done. Watch, by the end of 2024, Jack will have his six pack abs, his man boobs wouldn't be popping off in, on this t-shirt. Take that, how's that for a visual? Just some man boobs shaking. But yeah, I'm gonna lose weight to 250 pounds. It's a little bit less than last year's goals of 240, but I figured, hey, this is a little bit more easier for me to accomplish. And I have a little bit more of a plan on doing more health focused videos, a little bit more dietary videos. So that should help me lose weight. After that is I would implement the Pomodoro technique to focus on getting me to stand up at least a five minutes every couple of, every hour, I should say. So I also got an Apple Watch recently that bugs me every time I'm sitting for over an hour without standing up. Um, that definitely helps me, but I still, I'm like, I don't have time to stand up. I'm just going to ignore my Apple Watch, and I'm just going to keep doing my videos, and that's causing, like, my legs to hurt. Um, so I'm going to try and lose weight, stand up more, get healthier by implementing the Pomodoro technique, which, for those who don't know, is complete a task in 25-minute chunks with having five minutes of break in between. I know it's going to be hard to implement that with like doing like all these meetings that I have to have, but we'll see how it works out. Next up is I want to take a sleep study to resolve my sleeping issues. I talked to my doctor about it. He recommended a sleep study. I have a history of sleep apnea with pretty much everyone in my family members. I am also obese, which I know uh, contributes to that. Even my family members who aren't obese, they have sleep problems, so it's probably double for me. <laughs> so next up is mental health. And I want to take a 24-hour tech Sabbath at least once a quarter. This is another idea I had. I wanted to do it every month. I couldn't fit that in. But I feel like doing it four times a month, just ignoring technology, put having my phone set aside, just spending a weekend, no technology, would be great for my mental health too. Like I swear, all I think about is like technology, work is all programming. Uh, my hobbies mostly rely on me sitting on a computer or like this YouTube channel. Even when cooking, I'm on my phone trying to find recipes. So it's just it's just a lot. I just I just need a break from all this technology. Next up is I will enjoy nature by visiting two places on the National Park Services. So me and my wife have this goal to hit up every single national site. There's I think two, 400, no, 465 I think different uh, services. Um, but there's an Ice Age Trail in Wisconsin near us. Uh, it's one of those like beautiful scenic trails that's on the national list so we're going to visit there and i also want to visit another one so far we only visited the national mall which is and then um we went to uh the st louis one the what is it i forgot whatever the the arches that na that uh that's now a national site the arch park i'm gonna call it it sucks i'm not sure why it's a national site but it is next up is i want to keep a journal Again, I'm going to make a journal note once a month. This is the same thing I put in my last goal, but I'm scaling it back. That way I can get it done with my time frame. 
learning is I will read six books. This is the same exact one that I failed last year, but I feel like it's something I need to get done. I loved reading as a kid, and I really wanted to reread the Redwall book series, which is what is something I loved as a kid. So I'm going to take that and do it this year. I'm going to read those books and I'm plan on doing it by reading on the plane because like I said in the previous video I got like four flying trips by March. By the end of March I have like four flying um, experiences due to work. I have vacation that I want to take plus I have to see my family who lives in Arizona. Um, so I have a lot of flying to do. Next step after that is the learning category and learning yeah i already said that after that as i want to learn about healthy cooking by taking a great course item on healthy cooking i know how to cook i cook quite a bit pretty much every every other meal it's either me cooking or it's split between eating out and my wife cooking um but i don't really cook healthy food i cook like you know, I cook a lot of buttery food because I'm a Midwestern boy. Of course, I love my butter. I love my cheese. So I'm going to be learning to cook healthier. Um, at one point, I want to start a garden, but not while we're living in this townhouse because we have so many dogs that like eat other people's like fruits and vegetables or cats who poop in. I, I don't want to deal with that while I'm here. Next up is I want to try and get a dedicated two hour span of just learning. At my job, we always emphasize education and learning because I work in ed tech. Um, and I figured, hey, I need to improve my skills. I need to work on learning new programming languages. I'm going to try and get at least a two hour dedicated learning time every single week. That will improve my skills. Next up is learning. Um, that's the end of learning, I should say. Next up is the YouTube channel hobby, which of course is what I'm doing now, is I will create new graphics for this YouTube channel. As you can tell, I'm using the same like introduction I've used since 2021, I would say. I uh, haven't really worked on like any new graphics, any new feeling. And honestly, this format feels kind of stale. It feels a little bit like 2012, which is what my old YouTube channel uh, was basically just me post high school kind of talking to a camera like this. I want to have a little better animations, a little bit more like pizzazz with this stuff. So I'm going to be putting in new graphics, um, create a new introduction. We'll see how it goes. After that is I want to post a new video almost every single week. I'm going to have 50 videos out next year. The reason I'm saying 50 instead of 52 is to just give me a, a little buffer. This year I missed three videos for the weeks. Um, so I'm going to try and improve that by, you know, streamlining my ideas and kind of, you know, starting my videos now instead of kind of like a few weeks before they're due. So I have a lot of plans to make better and interesting content. And also I'll create a dedicated uh, yearly plan for this channel. And I'm going to post that as a separate video, maybe next month. Um, but right now I have like a little every month I want to accomplish something else within this tiny goal in order to reach the next goal, which is to try and get to... Wait, what am I talking about? Which is to focus and, sorry, I, I already wrote this and I'm already messing it up. Is to get dedicated time each and every day to work on this YouTube channel. I work on this YouTube channel probably 30 minutes a day. I need to focus more energy on it. I'll do an hour, set aside an hour each day and tackle this puppy, get this puppy going and reach a thousand subscribers. Under social is I want to have a new vacation this year, visiting a brand new place. Um, I'm thinking of Nashville, me and my wife driving to Nashville. It's also an area where we're thinking about moving to just because we want some place not nearly as cold as Arizona, but also not as hot as not, not as hot as Arizona, but not as cold as Illinois. So we're thinking, you know, uh, Tennessee is kind of a nice area. Um, the one thing we are, there's definitely some worries about living in more of a conservative area, especially since, you know, my wife, me and my wife, you know, we're both kind of 
Neither, neither of us, I think I said before, I'm, po- I'm definitely moderate, but my wife's definitely more liberal, so we have to worry about that. Finding an area that's more accepting of different beliefs and all this other stuff. Uh, so hopefully Tennessee is it. After that, we're going to a second vacation spot just for fun. I was thinking about, hey, I haven't been to Wisconsin Dells in like five years. Wouldn't it be fun to go back to the Wisconsin Dells? Plus, I want to go back to that Ice Age Trail, uh, which is a thing that I did as a kid. Me and my wife, we never did it together. Um, Hey, that's in Wisconsin Dells. Might as well go there. So we're planning on going to the Dells as well. But I'm leaving it open just in case for something else. Next up is we will go to a new five new places this year, traveling at least an hour for one of them. So I want to have another five brand new date spots um, that we can call our own. After that is we'll go to a dance party, dance club and party it up. I haven't been to a dance party since probably... Probably in high school, honestly. There's this place called... um, Zero Gravity, again, Illinois is special, but Zero Gravity is like a 16 and over club. That was the last time I went to a dance club. I would love to go to a dance club now that I'm like 30 and old and married. I think it'll just be a fun experience. People trying to be like, oh, trying to hit on each other. And I was this old man just dancing and grooving. <laughs> it'll be funny. Next up is financials. I want to increase my 401k contribution to 10%. That's an easy thing. Just log onto the app, boop, put 10%. And I want to be able to hit my retirement goals. So that will help me. Is the next thing is I want to pay off at least another $20,000 towards the student loan fund. This year I did 20,000. The goal of next year, 20, this year I guess, 2024. Um, the goal is to get another 20000 knock that over to $40,000 total. Um, that means I have two more years left of paying off that loan before the loans are gone. And right, trust me, right when I pay off the loans, uh, Biden is going to announce forgiveness. I guarantee you, because that's exactly how it always goes. Next up. We have, I will ask to try and get the raise this year or get a new job. Um, Just because, you know, I feel like I deserve a raise. I've been doing a lot of work and a lot of helping people. I've gained a lot of skill. um, So pay me more. (laughs) And plus, I can also, like, I've never, I've asked for a raise once and I got it. So I feel like if I can make it a case again, I can get another raise. Next up is household category, and we will begin putting $50 into a house fund. It's not much, but it's a lot. So right now I live in this townhouse. Once I move, I got to sell this place, and I want to buy like a real house where we live in Arizona, Illinois, Tennessee, Washington, whatever state we live in, whatever area we decided is a great fit for us. We want to buy like a house house. Um, no longer buying like these townhouses so we can have like a nice yard, start a garden, all this stuff. Um, so I want to be able to at least have like some sort of fun started just to kind of hey be like, hey, look, we're contributing to this dream. You know, we're paying off the loans, which is the big thing. But we're also putting a little money aside for this dream of buying a house. Just because one thing I'm worried about is selling this place and going to Nashville where it's so much more expensive. Like, oh, I'm selling this thing. I'm, you know, I but I now I have like three hundred thousand dollars. I still got to put towards the um, the um, the the house. The house is way more expensive. You know, if I sell this place. And in Nashville, the housing is so expensive. What if I still have to get like a half a million dollar mortgage? That's one thing I'm scared about. And I guess that's one benefit of Illinois is that it's so cheap because no one wants to live here because we've been losing people. But it's so cheap here that, you know, you're not going to have like the prices that you got in Arizona, California, Washington. So it's it's a double edged sword. I I can't sell this place for as much as I bought it for. Um, which is scary for if you're going to move to a different place. Next up, 
What am I saying? Where was I? <laughs> I've just been rambling and rambling and rambling. Yeah, next up in the household is we will be researching and looking for a new place to live. Again, that includes to going to Nashville, looking at other spots in Washington, and finding a nice spot. Whether we live there, whether we live in Arizona, Nevada, anywhere else where we're thinking about would be a good spot for us to put down and finally settle roots. Next up is we'll be looking to fix the hole in the walls and fix the hole in the office. And I want to repaint this place. So this is something that needs to get done. Needs to get done before we move. We got to paint this place, make it look good. We got to fix some holes in the walls. You know, I um, I took down the curtains, those ugly curtain, you know, those plastic like crappy curtains, put, uh, not curtains, those blind, those blinds, those plastic crappy blinds, put in some blackout curtains. Uh, when I took them down, I put created a whole bunch of holes in the walls uh, where the screws used to be for the blinds. So I'm going to patch them up, paint everything. It's just going to look so much nicer here uh, with a fresh new coat of paint. The next category is presentation. Again, this is new. I want to focus on improving how people would see me. So I can do that by buying new and stylish clothing. Um, the once I lose weight, I'm thinking like a nice like jacket, like suit jacket or sports coat. Um, get some nice jeans. Like I haven't had. I only have one pair of jeans, and it's like Wranglers from uh, Barnes and not Barnes and Noble. Jesus, but from Barnes Farm and Fleet, <laughs> two very different stores. <laughs> yeah, I got some Farm and Fleet jeans, Wranglers. Um, you know, I never gotten any like stylish, like cool jeans from like the real kind of stores i only get my clothes from costco or uh from like the farming you know and it'll be good to get like you know go to like an outlet store and get some real jeans <laughs> i feel like i'm coming off way more country in this video than i am i'm 100 percent a suburban dude <laughs> i just i just i just look country Next up is I'll get a new tattoo once I lose weight. That is definitely something I wanted to get. I want to get like my, uh, a symbol of like me and my wife. Um, she loves penguins. I love polar bears. So we can get like a polar bear and a penguin like sitting on an ice, like watching a sunset. That's something I wanted to get on my chest. Uh, once it goes from like being, you know, a flabby, shaky thing that you saw in the intro to being an actual chest. Um, so once I lose weight, I'm going to be trying to get that tattoo. And the last thing is I want to get my car washed every month, excluding the winter. This sounds a little bit weird, but this is my thought pattern. Is that recently I went shopping with my wife. We went to Target. You know, there's a guy who was like super put together. He had like a nice haircut. He had like a nice kind of like shirt on. He was like a button down. He was wearing jeans. I was like, oh, that's man's put together. And then we went outside. And, you know, since it's December, because uh, his car was completely like, you know, full of like, what's it called? Like that soot and like the um, salts. It was like horrible looking. I was like, oh, man. This dude didn't wash his car yet. He's probably a loser. So it's just crazy how like looking at someone's car just completely transforms what you think about them. So my goal is to get wash my car every single month, make my sure my car looks good. And this is again such like an American thing. You know, people from Europe don't really have to take as many car trips as we do because uh, we have car dependent infrastructure, which is sucky for poor people and for people like me who want to lose weight, but. It is what it is. How your car looks is kind of reflective of how you take care of yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm adding washing my car every single month. I usually wash my car maybe three times a year, especially in the winter. Um, I'm, ex I'm writing on excluding winter because, you know, uh, obviously it's a lot easier to wash your car in the winter because it's true. You got to get the salt off. Um, so yeah. Last category is other. Another thing is I want to make the food list every other month, six times a year. Again, something I did last year, but I had such a blast doing it that I want to do it. And I want to try and introduce a new food category. Like, for instance, like Ethiopian. I've never had Ethiopian food. What is Ethiopian food? I don't even know, but wouldn't that be fun to try and cook it? So, yeah, let's do it. After that is I want to 
ex- I want to eh, I want to celebrate an obscure holiday. There are tons of like little little holidays that some people participate in, and I'm like, wouldn't it be cool to like? I love decorating the house, making things look a little bit different. Kind of shakes things up in life, you know what I mean? So I want to be celebrating some obscure holidays in my life, make it fun. The next thing is I want to make my own pop. I've always wanted to make my own soda pop. Um, never have. But I figured, hey, I'm running. I, I can't really. Th- I'm, I'm running out of ideas here for my New Year's goals. What's something I always wanted to do? I always wanted to make my own pop. Become a soda jerk. Hey, I can do that now. So that's one of my New Year's goals. And the last thing is, is I will volunteer twice this year outside of work. I try and volunteer. I usually volunteer maybe once a year before I started this job. Now with this job, we have two years, two days a year where we volunteer. And, you know, I like volunteering. I like helping people. So why not add a little bit more? You know, it's a great time to get out there and be social with some people. Talk to them, you know, get some experience. So, yeah, those are my plans. 30 out of 30. My goal is to complete all of them. What are your guys' New Year's goals? If you have any ideas on something you want me to do in the future, please post them below. Post your New Year's below. And, hey, we can keep track. You know, I plan on doing, like, a mid-year refresh, being like, here's six months from now. Here's what I'm doing so far with my New Year's goals. Hey, am I doing good? Am I doing bad? And I want you guys to also say, like, hey, six months later, I'm doing great on all my New Year's goals. I know a lot of people like, oh, there's no point in creating New Year's goals because most people don't keep them. Why not? It's fun. You should always have goals and stuff. It's honestly like this is a lot of fun to do being like, oh, I get to volunteer. I get to make look up some obscure holidays and participate in them. All this stuff is fun. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I put out a new video every single week i try to put a new video every single week if i miss one or two videos uh this year oh well i won't try and put out like crap like i did in 2023 just to say i have content you know that was never good follow me on x and instagram at true jack jank visit the website at jack jenkins.com sorry for the low effort i'm low energy now i'm starting to get a little tired so i'm gonna go ahead and take a nap Take it easy.